I'm running on fumes today, not a lot of sleep, so bear with me if I say something stupid. We'll blame it on that. So guys, we finally know why the Sony PlayStation 5, or as I like to call it, the Sony Alien Space Pope hat is as large as it is. Because Sony just released a quite lovely teardown video of the new console. They literally tear this thing apart, walk you through what is going on inside that Space Pope hat of a box. And it's actually really interesting. So we're going to kind of talk through some of the details in the video and explain why I think it's a pretty cool video. So obviously in this video, they start off by giving you kind of a device overview, which is something that we've done in the past. You've got your USB-C and USB Type-A in the back. You've got another two USB Type-A ports on the back, in addition to a wired LAN port and an HDMI port for good measure. And then you've got your AC in connector because of course the PlayStation 5 does in fact have an internal power supply which we will see a bit more of later. We talked the other day about the ventilation on the PlayStation 5 so now we know for sure that it does in fact intake from the front from these you know grills in the front of the device and then the air is then vented out the entirety of the back so you get pretty good airflow through that case and airflow keeping this thing cool is a really big deal when you're talking about these AMD uh, systems on a chip because they evidently run quite hot so this is very important that they've taken so much care into keeping the PlayStation 5 cool we'll talk a lot more about that as we go so if you want to remove the stand from the PlayStation 5 you actually need a little screwdriver to take that out some people may look at that and say, you know, that's a little annoying to have to do that. Well, one, how often are you going to have to do that? And two, would you rather it be more secure or less secure? I'm cool with there being a screw there. And what's really cool about this is when you take that stand out and remove that screw, they actually have included here a little hidey hole to keep that screw safe and then a plug that you pull out to then plug the hole that you've now created by removing the screw. You can even then twist the stand to totally obscure that screw so that you're not going to lose that thing. And then if you want to lay it on the side, well, there's two little notches there. The stand attaches to the side, and you can lay it down flat. Either way you want to go. If you want your Space Pope hat vertically as it would be on the Space Pope, good for you. If you want to lay it sideways, go right ahead and do that. I think the stand is actually quite nice and quite cool. Really interesting thing here is that those side panels do pop off. He has to put a little bit of effort into popping it off, but it does in fact come off, which says to me customization is has to be a thing, right? I mean, why would you not be able to get custom colored side panels for your PlayStation 5? I like that quite a bit. You get your first view here of the big giant cooling fan that is in the PlayStation 5. And like I said, great care has been taken to keeping this thing extremely cool. He points out these two holes here are actually there to catch dust. So you could stick a vacuum on that, or if you have a very fine tip, maybe up in that hole, suck the dust out of there. If you're someone like me that has dogs, pet dander and so forth is a problem. Great to have something really nice and simple there to clean out your system. I know that I've taken a PS4, PS3, several consoles apart to clean out the dust. Simple solutions are good solutions. This is really fascinating here. He reveals this is actually a slot for an M.2 drive. So we know that with the Xbox One X and One S, I'm sorry, the Xbox Series X and the Series S. You see how confusing that is, Microsoft? We know that they have these little cartridges that you're going to be able to pop in to expand your storage and to maintain the bleeding fast speeds of those solid state drives. Well, Sony is giving you an NVMe slot to just buy an NVMe drive and plug it into this M.2 and... and off you go. How will this affect things? If the if this M.2 drive is not as fast as what is on the board, the, the native storage on the PlayStation 5, what happens there? Does the game just load more slowly? Is it way more slowly? Um, 
we don't really know how that works. We don't really know, you know, obviously Xbox has its quick resume feature. Does PlayStation have similar features that will not work if things are on this added storage? Will you be able to play games off this storage? I certainly hope so. Really cool that it's there because NVMe drives are going to do nothing but get faster and faster as the consoles push the desire for fast drives and also as the the software gets better at utilizing faster and faster drives. That is a great piece of future proofing and I'm really happy to see it there. Really, really surprising to see an M.2 expansion slot on the PlayStation 5. So there is the fan itself. It's a big cooling fan. And it and and it's not angled in such a way that uh airflow is in one direction. It's just gonna pull in air all the way from that back, push it down, and then out the back. So this is the Blu-ray drive, which is stabilized to keep it from being too loud. Um, to keep the disc from being damaged as well, but it, it's it's sort of insulated in a way so that it doesn't make any noise. They've taken great care to keep this thing quieter than the jet engine taking off that was the PlayStation 4. Now we have here him disconnecting the Wi-Fi 6 and the Bluetooth module. Super happy to see Wi-Fi 6 here as download speeds in people's homes get faster and faster. Having the future proofing capability of Wi-Fi 6 great decision something that sony of old would have failed to do now as he's taking these shields off here you get your first view at the back side of that system on a chip and you can see the ram modules in this array around the outside and here is the motherboard and it looks like a motherboard as it turns out here is your system on a chip that is, of course, the AMD Ryzen-based Zen 2 architecture system on a chip. That is the brains of the system. RDNA 2-based graphic engine, but it apparently is going to have some features of some later. Who knows? It's, it's complicated. He's pointing out the RAM modules here in this array around the outside of that CPU. We've got 16 gigabytes of super fast, super, super fast GDDR6 uh, RAM. This is the storage. These are your soldered to the board SSDs, which do account for, what is it, 800 and some odd gigabytes. That is the custom SSD controller. When you're pushing speeds like they're pushing, you need a controller to actually enable those sorts of speeds. This truly is next level speed as far as the SSDs in these next gen systems go. This is super fascinating. So we've got here um, the cooling situation here for this processor is using a liquid metal. We're not just using some thermal paste like everyone else uses. We're using a liquid metal to keep this SOC cool. That tells me two things. One, this thing is going to run hot. And two, they've taken great care to make sure that it doesn't run super hot. Even this foam here probably is conductive of some heat, but that liquid metal is going to do a lot of the work to transfer the heat from that SOC into the gargantuan heat sink, which you will be seeing here shortly. Here is the heat sink. Looks, look at this thing in context of the console. What is this? 30% of the console is heat sink? Un believable i am super pleased to see it there you can see here this should be where it is contacting the back side of the of the of the the system on a chip and from there air is being pulled through this hole where the fan goes and that is a lot a lot of copper a lot of copper to keep this thing nice and cool that is a huge heat sink and I think that it's important here to take a second to pull up a, an image here of the heat sink that is in the Xbox Series X. So that is the giant brick of the heat sink that Microsoft is using in their console. You can see it here inside the system itself. You've got some negative space here to allow some airflow. And then comparing that to the design that Sony has gone with, volume, that looks bigger Obviously, it's a different it's a different take on the design, but they're both clearly taking uh, heat dispersion very seriously, and of course, they should be because they're sharing a lot of of silicon in these consoles. So, if one thinks it's going to get really hot, well, the other one is going to think the same thing. Let's roll on here, but really, don't uh, understate how massive this heat sink actually is we're not going to be getting any red rings of death from overheating 
on these systems. Here is that 350 watt power supply. It is internal, which is another factor that makes the system a little bit bigger than it would have been if they had have had an external power supply, which is something that Sony historically just doesn't really do. So yeah, guys, we know why the PS5 is gigantic. The heatsink is absurdly huge, and I'm not upset about that. Obviously, you've got an internal power supply, and they've got plenty of space in there for airflow. They've taken great care to make sure the system doesn't overheat. Super fascinating. I, The software doesn't get me super excited on any of these new consoles. There's nothing there that I'm like, oh my god, I have to have this. But as a tech nerd, I love this stuff. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you guys happy. I hope you guys enjo enjoyed nerding out with me talking about the internals of the PlayStation 5. We'll be back to our reg regular schedule, if I can say words from my mouth, uh, tomorrow and, and forward. Obviously, there was no news rundown today. Um, some circumstances prevented me from really having the mental capacity to gather up the news and to film that thing, but I, I couldn't not do this video as well so thanks for watching and until next time stay nerdy my friends if you enjoy my content please consider becoming a scary if literal member you'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video thanks as always for your continued support